So today I have these three adorable gnomes. One is holding a heart in his hand. One is holding the letters I, a heart, and a U. So cute. And another one is holding a bouquet of flowers. These were $4.99 at Hobby Lobby. And I couldn't wait to show these to you because I'm hoping you guys get there and are able to at least get one. So I'm going to go through painting this with you. But I'm going to be jumping from one to the other. You're not going to watch me paint each one. All three, I started by painting the beard and the back of the hair white. It's Snow Owl. One of the gnomes, I grabbed dry thyme and painted his hat. Now, these look ceramic. My Santa was ceramic. These are more like a resin. If I was to do it again, I probably would have covered them all with a white primer as I felt the paint would have grabbed a little bit better. But this did work fine without it. I did have to do two coats, which you probably would have to either way. Um, so each nose, I grabbed a little bit of Republic Red and a little bit of Snow Owl and created this pink tone in their nose. And I'm going to start by painting them from the top down. I used the same paint consistency for the one holding the single heart. And then the bouquet, I did the full Republic Red. Now, this hat, I'm doing Smoky Quartz. Another tip is I felt that the any paintbrush that has that angle to it, and you don't want your bristles to be too short because this is a lot smaller than the Santa was. So the little bit longer bristles, they don't have to be super long, just you don't want short bristles, just helps you get in those little details and the angle really helps you to keep each part um, separate. You're gonna bleed through here and there, I did, but uh, don't overthink it, just have fun. Now, once my bouquet dried a little bit, I grabbed the tip with the straight snow owl and just brushed it along the flowers just to make them stand out. This hat is um, Higgins Lake. It's a really pretty blue. I love this blue with any type of uh, buffalo plaid. So here they are with their hats all done. So uh, one of them, the one with the bouquet, I grabbed Bowie. And I'm going to do his shirt in Bowie. Now some of these angle brushes I get right at uh, Dollar General. I like theirs that they have there. Uh, not the white ones. These are the ones with the more uh, cream-toned um, bristles. Or I get them at Walmart. And they have the same color bristle. And they have that little angle to them. And it's going to help you get in all these little grooves and crevices much easier. This is Charleston Green. This project's going to really give you guys a look at some of the colors that are in some of our sample kits. Um, right now, we did take them down because it's so cold out that they are freezing in the mail. The mail is just falling behind, and these paints are just two ounces, and they're sitting in the, in the cold weather. So we're going to have to wait for the weather to warm up a little bit. But this is our Charleston Green. And this is Gratian Clay. I 
And then all the boots on all three, I painted black. I did have to go through all the um, the jackets and do a second coat. I did do a second coat on some of the hats and I definitely did a second coat on all the boots. And again, I think a primer would have helped a lot. Maybe even the Wise Owl Clear Primer. So this guy is holding the letters I and U and a horror. I just did the straight Republic Red on the horror and the golden rod on the I and the U. Once everything dried, this is my two inch palm brush and my lemon verbanum salve. This can be found at chalkitupfancy.com. All the paint can be found at chalkitupfancy.com. And I'm just coating the entire gnomes with one coat of the salve. This is just a rub on, rub off. And this is a sealer. It also can be used for leather, shoes, has lots of uh, uses. I'm gonna take my S30 brush, my chocolate, a spray bottle, and my baby wipes. And I know you guys have seen me do this before. Some of you may not. You can leave them just as you are. You don't have to continue to this. I wet my brush. I put a little bit of uh, a very small amount of the chocolate on my brush. I hit it again with my spray bottle. This is an aerosol spray bottle. I believe we have them in our uh, Amazon store. And I actually gave the gnome a little bit of a, a quick spray. And I took the chocolate and I covered the gnome, tried to get in all the nooks and crannies with my chocolate paint from Wise Owl. This S30 brush is also on our webpage, chocolatefancy.com, and it's just a perfect brush for crafting. It's just that perfect size. And while everything is still wet, you take your baby wipe, I probably took a little more than I needed, and you're just gonna wipe off all the chocolate now you can remove as much or as little as you want, but what you want, the key is to leave just a little bit in all those nooks and crannies. And it just makes all his detail pop, especially his beard. I just love the look. And there you go. How cute is he? And then I did it in sections. I did the front and then the back. I'm not going to show you doing each gnome. One's enough for you to understand how I did this. I think they came out really cute. Again, $4.99 at Hobby Lobby. Look how cute he is. Once everything dried... Here are all them all done. Some I took off more chocolate than others, just so you could kind of see the difference. And then once everything dried, I just gave another coat of my salve. Again, a wipe on, wipe off. This is lemon verbatim, has a, has a nice smell, or you can get unscented as well. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now find all our videos at chalkitupfancy.com for any paint products, brushes, tissue paper, transfers, chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you so much for watching.